Hello Sagittarius, my name is Peace. I'm with the Footsteps to Peace. I'm a psychic astrologer and an intuitive life coach. If you are interested in a personal reading, please feel free to check the description box down below. There you'll find the link to my website, thefootstepstopeace.com. Also like, share, and subscribe. You know I appreciate it and hit that notification bell so you can be updated the next time I post a video. All right, Saggy, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. First card you come up with is the Page of Cups. This is either giving or receiving a message from someone else. Uh, uh, that is an apology possibly or a surprise um, your challenge position is the justice card so balance being restored and um, I feel like doing the right thing is the challenge maybe doing the right thing and setting this record straight uh, maybe there needs to be a text message a phone call an email or some type of travel that is coming up or, or uh, that needs to be put out or maybe there was a message that came in for the Sagittarius says spirit please show me Saggies yeah it's about the four of cups in reverse not accepting other people's offers uh, you know and I feel like someone here just did not want to give to the relationship okay yeah someone here has gone cold on this okay someone here is not talking and they are standing very firm in that decision they have nothing to say to you okay um, it can be a very cold, cutting energy, uh, or you could be dealing with somebody who's a complete asshole. You could be, you or the other person definitely could be spying on, uh, I think you guys are spying on each other possibly, or you're spying on them, they're spying on you. Uh, and then you've got the Nine of Cups in the reverse. All right, that is wishes not being granted and very well could have to do with addictions. Ooh, Sag, you got the Queen of Cups in the reverse now. You've got the Ten of Wands in the reverse. That's a, that's a good card in reverse. And Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Five of Swords is the overall energies. What's going on here, Sag? What is happening here? Okay, wow, Five of Swords. Okay, Five of Swords as the overall energy is... Uh, it's fighting, arguing, it's bickering, bitching back and forth with someone, someone here being extremely cold. For some of you, maybe there's just, I want to say that this is a relationship. It, it, this reading, I did ask for the energy between you and another person. I feel like, um, oh, this is, ugh. um, let me see. Why is the... Oh yeah, okay. So, someone here, I just clarified the King of Swords in the reverse. The King of Swords in the upright is someone who is very analytical, somebody here who is really good. They think very well on their feet. Uh, they are matter of fact. Um, they're, they're the type of person who's gonna tell you the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. When the King of Swords is in the reverse, this is someone who is narcissistic. It's someone who is uh, cold and mean and very cutting. And I feel like this person is very smug. I feel like this person is very cruel. Uh, I, I just feel like, and you're trying to weigh up whether or not you want to stay in a relationship with this person, uh, whether this is a friendship, this is a husband, wife, you know, situation, any one of those things, I feel like you're dealing with someone who is narcissistic. Um, this person could give two shits about who they hurt and they have no qualms saying whatever they need to. And it's like out of nowhere, uh, you know, you're sitting in there washing dishes and they come in and they cut you down. Thank you, spirit. Um, this person very well does have an addiction issue as well. You are the other person. And I feel like, you know, the drinking needs to stop, you know, with the queen of cups in the reverse over the, you know, nine of cups in the, in the reverse. This is someone here, you and the other party that has addiction issues, you know, whether that's, you know, addiction to codependent relationships, which I can very well see that. I, I do want to say here that someone is cutting off their financials towards you. Uh, Sagittarius I feel like you know they are not accepting anything that they're you're offering uh, there's no more money coming in for from a source I feel like when looking at this oh wait hold on uh, I want to see with the page of swords yeah see this is a money situation um, with the page of swords this is someone who is spying on someone 
Um, and I feel like what you need to understand is justice has now been served and maybe you haven't seen that yet, but it's coming in. And I feel like this person is cutting off all ties financially to you or you're cutting off financial, financial ties to someone else. Someone here is getting the fuck out of Dodge. They're over it. They're done. They're, they're not dealing with it anymore. And this person is very successful. They're doing it like it is nothing. They're making it look good. They have already strategize their asses right on out of here so uh, someone here is getting out like they're done so it's like you don't have any more power or control over this person and it's like now you're weighing up like what the fuck do I do you know it's really funny I know so many Saggies who are in these relationships where it's like the only glue holding you and your partner up is your 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 hatred towards someone else and when I look at the king of swords and the reverse with the three of swords and the king of wands who's sitting here all you know smug and like just lazy in his chair you know like weighing up his pentacles it's almost like the glue sometimes the glue to your relationship that you've been that has been holding you together is another person that you can't stand and that person is now leaving so now you're stuck with this person by yourself and the other per the other person is like no more. <laughs> so now what are you going to do? <laughs> what are you going to do, Saggy? You got to figure it out. It's like, um, and I don't know why, but I'm really getting that. Yeah, this person. Yep. 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 Here it is. This queen of cups is like, fuck you. Okay. I am not doing this anymore. I'm not doing this anymore. Like I said, you may not see it come in. But there is the last of what she has to offer you. And it is the end. Death to this whole situation. This Queen of Cups, she's sitting over here on her own doing her own damn thing she's like i'm not playing into your guys' addictions no more wow my nose is really going crazy so saggies whatever this is this is pretty uh gnarly shit this might not be for everyone but there's a couple of saggies that <laughs> need to hear this message someone here is putting down you as a burden or you're putting them down but i did ask about the other person so i <laughs> feel like somebody here isn't going to feed your toxic addiction anymore to them uh yeah nine of pentacles yeah this has to do with um contracts this has to do with legalities this person is like fuck this i ain't no fool i'm out of here i took the keys back you know i'm unlocking myself from these toxic addiction uh, excuse me addictions of yours uh this is the end of a karmic contract okay and it like i said it could very well have to do with finances children because I am seeing the page of cups here I see the page of swords here and then I'm seeing the page of pentacles here I'm also seeing a child here okay so uh, and then I'm seeing this uh, the the um, ace of pentacles in reverse which says I'm not given to this situation anymore there is no new beginning in any of this it's like um, I'm not offering you a brand new beginning because I don't want one <laughs> Justice is being served, and I just feel like uh, whoever this is, they are done. Yeah, they're cutting you off. Ace of Swords. <laughs> I just said they're cutting you off. Ace of Swords. Here's the sword. It's like truth. Here's the truth. The whole truth and nothing but the truth. Um, I'm going off on a brand new beginning. And again, you don't see this coming. Uh, I think this is going to be a huge surprise. Someone here, the way I look at it, you know, the way I'm looking at this reading is nobody won. You're thinking you won. They're thinking they won. Here's the deal nobody won okay when the five of swords is here the five of swords always says that there is no victor okay in any of this the children don't win you don't win the kids you know the the nobody wins period so um yeah yeah see this is taking back control of their life they're not accepting whatever it is that you have to offer anymore okay um you know i feel like it's like you can keep trying to come out with your i feel like it's an empty cup and you know i feel like with the emperor here he's like i'm not i'm not 
there's no more offer. There's no more money. There's no more stability in any of this. So I feel like you need to just take back the reins to your own life and decide on what it is that you need to do. Decisions do need to be made on whether or not you're going to go ahead and continue in this relationship and keep going through the same cycles or if you want to go ahead and expect you know, to end it and move forward with this new life that is being on offer to you. I feel like honestly, Saggies, if you guys are stuck in some type of type of an addictive pattern, it's time for you to end it. It's time for you to decide on how you want to live your life and then go out and be free and be happy to do so. Uh, but expecting, you know, spying on people and, you know, dealing with narcissists, it's, it, it just, it's not, it's not attractive. <laughs> ah, show me the saggies. All right. Trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith. And yeah, spirit, please show me Sagittarius. Please show me Sagittarius spirit. Okay. Yeah, forgiving and learning as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. So like I said, I feel like you and another person were being a bully to someone else. I feel like there is needing to be forgiveness and trust. Um, I feel like I said, I don't know if, I, and I, cause I do feel like this is a third party situation for some of you Saggies. It's like, I feel like I might be talking to a feminine here that's dealing with a masculine um, that also is dealing with their ex or something here, okay? So I feel like it's a third, there's three of you to this. Um, and I feel like you're at, somebody, a couple of you are acting very immature when I'm looking at these pages and there's someone else over here like just trying to do their own thing and be as mature as possible about it. So whatever, wherever you're standing, you might wanna just take a step back and again, Take this opportunity to forgive and learn from the situation so that you don't continue to uh, cycle it through. Spirit, please show me. Okay, Saggies. Yeah, reconciliation. Uh, someone from your past is returning to your life. Um, and then at the bottom of the deck, getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. So if there is someone coming back from the past or you're trying to come back from the past, again, I did say third party. Look at this. One, two, three. And it could have to do something with a family dynamic. Um, and someone here coming back from the past, it's like, you know, have you, can you learn to forgive this, this person? I don't think that this person is actually coming back in. Um, you know, in physical form, I'm not seeing that because I see the Ace of Pentacles in reverse and I see the Queen of Cups in reverse and I see the King of Swords in reverse. So I just feel like, you know, if this person is coming up into your psyche, into your dreams, uh, in your social media platform, it's because you need to really think about who this person is now compared to the way that you used to look at this person in the past. This person isn't the same person. They've changed. They've grown. They've evolved. Okay. Maybe you've, you and your, whatever party you're dealing with have still, you know, decided to, uh, and my nose is starting to itch, you know, stay in the past. That's like the Pisces energy, you know, where we continue to swim around the past because we can't get past it and a lot of the times it's it's because of our addiction issues whether it's sex drugs rock and roll or an addiction to you know trying to make other people's lives miserable okay maybe that's your addiction for some of you or maybe that's somebody's addiction towards you uh, I don't really care for this energy too much I feel like I, I'm glad to say that this is only for one week hopefully next week when we come back this energy will have subsided and you know maybe this has a lot to do obviously with reconciliation and people from the past I do want to say that uh, it is mercury in retrograde and it always has a tendency to bring back you know past loved ones you know past you know people so that we can see where we're at in our healing process and if you're not healed or these other parties have not healed uh, you're gonna know where you stand and again every time mercury goes into retrograde and whenever the planets want to shift back you're gonna have no choice but to face this situation until you finally come at it with a different answer and it's learning how to forgive you know that's what this whole 
Mercury retrograde is all about is learning how to forgive. If you, every time you hear that person's name or see that person's, you know, photo or whatever, or see him in public and you still get that ugh, feeling within your gut, uh, the only thing that tells the universe is like it boomerangs it out and then it shoots back and it'll keep sending you doppelgangers. It'll keep sending you that situation. It'll keep pounding you with your deepest, darkest fears until you learn how to forgive. And then when you can actually say this person's name and actually speak kindly of this person, uh, that's when you've learned the lesson and the universe won't continue to keep bringing it about. So anyway, let's go ahead and read here. Spirit, please show me any other messages for the Sagis. Here's one. Sagi. Oh, whoa, whoa. Okay, that's way too many. I'll take them, actually. So the first one you get, Sages, is when it comes to matters of the heart, there is no right or wrong. Every choice you make expands your understanding of life and love, okay? And then the next card is my beloved. Though we may be physically apart, spiritually we are always united. For love transcends space and time. Nothing is missing. Okay, and then we have romance, Cupid's arrow strikes. And then we also, funny enough, this little kid has an arrow right here. So I do feel like for some of you, um, for some of you too, I feel like, yeah, you need to learn how to forgive the past. I think that you're also waiting on someone to return again. Um, emotions are a natural and necessary part of life, but they can also distort your perception and cloud your vision. In order to see things clearly, you must let go of resentment. So that's what I'm talking about. you got to let go, trust, heal, forgive, and learn from the past. Otherwise, you're just going to keep cycling it through. And, you know, reflection. Give each other some space at the moment. Trust and have faith that all will work out for the best. So so if someone here is living at a distance from you, I do feel like the two of you guys are spying on one another. Uh, I just feel like it's a matter of time before someone does come back into your life. But if you guys are in separation right now, it's because you guys need to learn, you know, get back to yourself. Again, the two of you guys are mirroring one another um, when it comes to the love situation and I genuinely feel like there's a possibility of an offer if this is a love situation for the future uh, and you are getting out of a relationship where you are starting a new one with someone else, I do feel like it's on delay. Anyway, Sagis, I love you very much. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. If you're interested in a personal reading, all my information is in the description box down below. Uh, I will be running a um, new moon um, reading on Facebook. If you can add yourself to my page. Actually, it's a group on Facebook and I have a page. If you could add yourself to both of them, I do live readings uh, for new moons and full moons and I would love to have you over there. Anyway, you guys, thank you very much and don't forget to watch for all your signs. Take care.